moving reckless. I snatch you right out your Lexus. I'm moving blocks like it's Tetris. A hundred thousand by breakfast. Yeah. Praying the Lord protect us. John Morant has been a hot topic in the media for a lot of things that have happened off the court. Mm -hmm. Incidents involving the strip club, social media scandals, and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. He got the chance to sit down with Jalen Rose. He asked him questions like, how stressful is it being John Morant? Whose gun was he holding? But did Jalen Rose really ask Ja the right questions? Did he ask him who gun he was holding? Yeah. I think that was the number one question, but he didn't answer it. So, Ja, if you're listening to us, that's the question they still want to know. You can dance around the whole thing, but we need to know whose gun was it. What the fuck is you talking about, man? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck are you talking about, my nigga? You I'm asking the nigga, one you asking Four. the nigga, oh, yo, so off top, yeah. you're asking John Morant to tell niggas. Who yo, gun was it? For, if if uh, he uh, changed, <laughs> then the way we know he changed is he give up the court. If, you he, know? Cha if he changed. <laughs> if he changed. Yeah, all right, man, they, listen. They didn't that, ask him to cut his hair. Yeah, yeah, this is true. But we need to see thing. something yeah, to know he yo, changed. You, you out of pocket asking that nigga to get on the television and say, Whose gun it is? If he's not gang, <laughs> then we need to know who gun it is. But if he's following gang culture, then he's not supposed to say who gun he's it is. Still gang? I don't know. I don't think if I don't really think it's about gang and not gang. You can't get up in there, Jai. You asked to hold my pistol for the video. <laughs> <laughs> you go viral. No, I get what you're saying. You I get what you're saying. I so get what now you go viral. So now you got to throw me under the bus. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Come yeah, on now, yeah, that's yeah, wild, right, my right. nigga. I want to gave it to you to tell on me, my nigga. That's crazy. I, I get that. I get that. But if it's his, I think he should own up to it. It's, it was his gun. I don't know who gun it was because at the end of the day, there was a lot of shit going on with Ja and Memphis on the road. Yeah. I don't know how all these guns and paraphernalia are going on the road. I can see if they're home and they're around that shit, and especially in Memphis. You got to keep a pistol nearby in Memphis. But... How is all this going on the road? Who is taking yeah. this on the road? I, th I think Ja Moran and himself just need to, to acknowledge that he's trying to be something he shouldn't be being at this point. And if he got the gun, like realistically, if you're stressed out and you're carrying a gun on the road, I don't want to be on the bus with somebody stressed out and they got a gun. I'm a <laughs> 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 yeah. Listen, what I will not, say is this, man. We're laughing, but it's not laughable. No, you're right. You're you know? right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You keep laughing. If somebody's stressed out and they're out of control and they're taking a gun on the road, I can't sleep. Now I'm stressed out. John, you're looking at this. this we don't mean to really laugh at your pain. We want to help, but you got to cut it out, man. You got to cut it out. Get, Talk with me, I can yo, help you. Yeah, I'm a yeah, trusted Hey, voice. listen, that, that's a great point. I really yeah. don't want to, you don't want to be around anybody yeah, yeah. with a gun who's stressed out, which is a great point. But what I will say is this, since John Morant has been back publicly after mm -hmm. the interview with Jalen Rose, he's been amazing, saying all the right things, what he should be saying. Now, is he going to live up to everything that he's saying he's going to do? That's the question. But he has yeah. been saying all the right things of what a person should say. He, he's staying in a, a safe place. But who gun is it? That's another story for another day. I hope you don't tell whose gun is it because that, that would really be some sucker shit. It would. They gave you the pistol so you could show off on the gram and do all the gram. No, I'm saying if it's shit. his gun, if it's his gun. Not, not blame somebody or snitch on somebody, but if it's his gun, he should say it's my gun. The shit over with, murder? Dude, nobody, it ain't like nobody getting charged with the gun. It's not over because I can't sleep. Now I can't sleep. I'm just saying, no, you can't sleep. But as far as why well, bring up a whole nother case, another situation when it's buried, nobody's kidding. It's not like Denver police, Colorado police mm -hmm. dropped the case. You don't need, they know they're not bringing it up in Memphis. Sweep the gun under the rug. We don't need to know who gun it is. Let's move on if I'm John Morant. All right, you're right. Yeah. Let's go on. So, well, piggybacking off of that a little bit, okay? So he did talk about what happened, but do you think that him even taking the interview was a good idea? Or do you think he should have just left it alone and just went back to play? Like, why do you feel like he should even have to answer himself to the public and prove himself? Because that's the generation we in that you yeah. feel like, and not just the generation, that's sports in general. Everybody has one of those interviews after some quote unquote scandal yeah. in, uh, in um, sports, whether it's 
deflate gate with Tom Brady or, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to bring oh, up personal yeah. shit, but yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was going to bring up my <laughs> man joint. <laughs> I, I thought about yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, I ain't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got to do them interviews after yeah. the scandal. Because people, people want to know where was your brain? Where was your brain when you was doing that? I know you was doing that, but where, what was you thinking? Yeah. So I think doing those interviews are important. Do you have to do them? No. But then if you don't do them, you're going to seem like you're insensitive. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's going to seem like you really don't give a fuck. And he's like, oh, he can't even do the fucking interview and tell us what the fuck is going on. Yeah. I have a real problem with certain things when it comes to athletes dealing with media. Because some people may be the best player in the world. Who said I'm good at talking to, talking to people? Well, I just may well, not. as a person. Right. I'm just good at putting the ball in the basket. Pause. Yeah, that was so, crazy. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I swear I'm good at it. I'm going to be serious today, but that I'm, was crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm not that was feeding, crazy. I'm not feeding. I'm okay. not feeding to it. You're not feeding. <laughs> so you're start yeah. Bet. No, no. Bet. No, bet. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bet. I'm, I'm, bet. I'm, I'm I, tried to, I, tried to, I tried to be professional. Bet. <laughs> bet. <laughs> bet. Bet. Good, That's good. fine. That's good, fine. Good. You was just sipping. That was crazy the way you were sipping. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> that, that was wow. <laughs> that, that was Come crazy. On, that, baby. People. That, that was crazy. So, <laughs> you right. get, more stories. You gotta do them interviews. You gotta, you gotta do, do them interviews. You gotta do them. And you gotta pick the right person next time. Pick us. Yeah, that's important too because yeah. you want to pick somebody. That's why I think he went with Jalen Rose. He went with somebody. They're not saying Jalen was going to be soft, pause. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying, like, he want to stay safe. Like, Muhammad Ali at Howard Cosell. A lot of people don't talk about this. I just talked about it on, yeah. like, one of our first episodes. Brian Winhurst, Winhurst or Winhorst, whoever he is for ESPN, he came in piggybacking off LeBron. He's one of LeBron's employees. He worked for ESPN. But you got here because of LeBron. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so can you trust that though? If they do the interview through a person that you know I don't is trust you. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I, controlling I'm, a narrative I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. For you. I, exactly. Brian Winhurst, when it comes to LeBron James, I don't believe nothing he says. He's not a trusted voice. I'm a trusted voice. I don't believe nothing he says because I believe all the good shit he says. If yeah. it's anything bad about LeBron, you will not hear from Brian Winhurst. Win horse, win whatever. Win horse, yeah. Yep, yeah. got it. Yeah. You won't hear from him because he came in off LeBron. The reason he got the job is because he followed LeBron all through high school. When LeBron went to the NBA, ESPN hired him to follow LeBron. That's how hot LeBron was. And he says nothing bad about LeBron. And you shouldn't say nothing bad about LeBron. You have a 20-year career at ESPN because of LeBron, and I don't blame you for not saying anything bad. You're smart. Yeah, there you have it. So then you can't trust it. But go ahead. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. the more the story the more is, the story story. is you, can't trust you can't trust it. There you go. Well, there you have it. We'll be right back. Thinking about she it. 